hi guys uh, welcome back to my channel um, today in this video I'm going to implement um, VPC peering um, uh, with the help of uh, Terraform code okay and um, uh, in this in this video um, if you see if you look at this uh, diagram uh, we uh, we will peer uh, two network across the across the project if you have watched my previous video on VPC peering uh, where, wherein we have set up uh, VPC peering within the project okay but uh, um, now this time um, um, we are going one step further and uh, we are uh, peering the network across the project and within the project so as you can see uh, we have three VPC VPC 1 VPC 2 uh, which are in the same project project A and VPC 3 which which is in the project B okay so <clears throat> We are we we all we are uh, all all this resource will be deployed uh, with Terraform code, and uh, we will also deploy uh, instance uh, within those VPC, right? Uh, so that we can check and verify the connectivity on the internal IPv4 address. So we can also using the IAP uh, so that you can log into your uh, machine with the with the uh, internal IP address. Okay. Um, <clears throat> If you haven't watched uh, uh, VPC peering, I would highly recommend to uh, you know go back and uh, and watch my uh, VPC peering video uh, so that uh, you would have a uh, uh, you would have a good good understanding what is peering and uh, how do we set up in Google Cloud Console, right? So so let's uh, let me show my code, okay? So uh, this is the folder I, I wherein I have uh, I uh, wherein I have uh, uh, my code. So <coughs> sorry. In the uh, in the in the provider block I have two projects, right? So uh, when you write a Terraform code, you have to declare the provider like right? for for which project and for which cloud platform you are going to um, deploy this resource, right? So this is your first project and uh, i'm going to select the reason us east one and this is going to be my second project right uh, now we have a google cloud vpc network right so here we have vpc one uh, we are going to create a vpc one in the first project as per the design right we're going to create a vpc one and then vpc two so we have vpc1 named it my custom network one and uh, i don't want auto create some network so i set it false and then i i'm going to create my subnet uh, within this vpc so i'm going to set this range 10.255 196 okay and then i'm also going to create a one more uh, one instance right one one compute vm so that i can verify the connectivity so you can see that uh, the name is demo machine type is medium e2 medium image is this and the network is my network one similarly you can create a second vpc in uh, within the same project within the first project wherein i named it my custom network 2 and the range is going to be 10.255 184 this was 196 and this was 184 okay same right yeah, i mean uh, this i i also deployed a uh, a VM right and now I am into my second project so in the second project you need to create a VPC 3 so so how you gonna do this um, you're gonna uh, create a Google compute network uh, I mean VPC 3 and then the subnet and then the VMs now now uh, we are into the peering section we are going to peer vpc1 and vpc2 and vpc1 and vpc3 so if you look at this uh, this, this design i'm gonna peering vpc1 and vpc3 across the project and vpc1 and vpc2 peering within the same project so 
remember that VPC pairing is not a transitive in nature, which means if VPC1 is paired with VPC2 and VPC1 is paired with VPC3, that doesn't mean that, that VPC2 will can, uh, can talk to the VPC3. In order to establish a communication between VPC2 and between VPC3, you need to pair, right? So uh, I haven't uh, paired, but I, because I'm going via the, via the, via the design, okay? So if you look at this uh, code, uh, the resource is Google Compute Network Peering, Peering 1, wherein the network is VPC1 and the peer network is VPC2, right? So peering always always is a bidirectional, right? It is not like it you, you peer from one way, it has to be two way, okay? So that's why I am creating a uh, one more peering, which I named it Peering 2, and this time the network is VPC2, and the peering, uh, the peering network is VPC1, right? So your VPC1 and VPC2 peering is done. <clears throat> now peering 3 is from VPC1 to VPC3 and peer in peering 4, um, I'm just reversing it, VPC3 to VPC1, right? This this section of code is very, uh, very important, right? Uh, because if this, is, if, this, uh, if this part is correct, then your peering will be established. Now, you have to create a firewall firewall to allow SSH from the internet uh, and allow ICMP from VPC1 to VPC2 and VPC3. Basically, I'm saying um, that allow the SSH from the internet so that I can log into my VM and check the connectivity. Uh, so in this project, I have this network. So I have allowed this network, right? I, I have allowed this from the source range of this because I have the cloud IAP. So, okay, uh, now I'll create a firewall rule. Uh, basically, <coughs> I'm saying uh, that I need allow ICMP rule VPC2. So in VPC2, if anyone wants to access from this range, which is which is a VPC1 range, uh, they can, uh, they are allowed to talk with this firewall rule. Same for VPC3, I will create a firewall rule to allow ICMP from VPC1 to VPC3, right? So again, uh, for, uh, this is a custom, uh, the, the custom network three, and the source range is going to be 196, right? So this is the code. Uh, this is a very simple code, okay? And uh, <clears throat> if you really want to um, understand it, I have already, I have already created a, a blog on this. Um, so I will, uh, uh, you know, put put the link. Uh, put the uh, put this medium block link in the video uh, video description okay so you can just go through that everything is well explained okay so you can uh, go through this article okay uh, this that this will help you but anyways i am going to run this code Terraform it and then from validate all good from plan okay now i'm gonna say apply It is now started creating the resources. You can see VPC1, VPC2, VPC3 is are creating, firewall rules are creating. So in the meanwhile, if you log into your Google Cloud Console, you will see some networks here. And uh, one more project, let me open that. So here I will select my second project. You can see in the second project I have this VPC created and you will see I have the subnets. Okay, same here. I have to have two VPCs, custom network one and two, right? Let me check. It's still creating. Okay, it's creating the peering. Let's wait for a couple of minutes. 
so after waiting uh, for two three minutes uh, um, i got some error and basically uh, these are not basically these are not the error they are basically the uh, dependency if you see that so i haven't declared the dependency so if you see the similar error you can just uh, rerun your i mean uh, just rerun your terrafm apply and it will uh, it will be completed okay um, so now uh, my terraform um, apply is completed and all the resources are done so if you want to see the resource list this is the command that you can run so these are the resource uh, which are created as a part of this code now let's verify in the console um, see i showed you net network one network two and let me show you the shared uh, i'm sorry vpc peering shared vpc we will cover very soon okay so now we are here we have peering right so your vpc network is network one peer network is network two similarly uh, two to one and and one to three and here you also see in the second project you will also see the pairing it's pairing four okay also have uh, we have two vms demo one and demo two and here we also here we have demo three so let's test it i'm into uh, i'm into demo one okay and uh, if you try to ping from demo 1 to demo 2 let's ping 10.255.184.2 ping to right uh, let's ping the second vpc i mean the third vpc which is in the uh, which is across the project right let's try to ping you can also ping you can also check the um, connectivity from uh, vice and versa from like from demo 3 to demo 1 or from demo 2 to demo 1 but i haven't opened the firewall rule you need to open the firewall rule right so you can go ahead and open the firewall rule and check the uh, connectivity so this is how the vpc peering works uh, one more thing that i wanted to show you um, if you if you look at uh, if you go to the vpc network right if you go to the vpc network and if you go to the route select your first network and select the reason <coughs> it's us okay it was in us east right where is that is this one okay so if you see that uh, this network uh, default routing so you have this uh, this uh, this routing that automatically creates when your vpc network gets created right these two routes automatically creates on the time of vpc network so it says for for uh, you know within this uh, within this network uh, the next stop is going to be your vpc uh, i mean your vpc uh, network one okay and this is a static route if you want to go to internet go to the default internet gateway now these two uh, routing are created as a part of vpc peering you can see that the type is peering subnet basically it's saying if you want to go to uh, 10.255.186 which is this right if you want to go from vpc1 to vpc2 you should go from peering 3 right and if you want to go to uh, from you know from vpc1 to vpc3 you should route via the pairing one so this is how the routing works routing works right if you see in any reason you will see the same route because routings are global are, are global i told you right um, the routing firewall vpc are the global service all right so that's it for today i hope you like this uh, video and if you like this video um, please uh, subscribe my channel and also feel free to comment um, uh, with if you have any doubts or if you need any clarity i would be happy to help all right uh, with that said uh, i'll see you in the next video uh, next video i will be covering a lot of uh, 
topics uh, uh, like uh, application load balancer and uh, network load balancer uh, shared vpc and then we will also cover auto scaling auto healing a lot of uh, um, you know network related um, items are still pending so i will i will cover it uh, soon uh, maybe and uh, you will find it um, in a future videos all right and uh, don't forget to destroy your infrastructure um, right you can destroy it with the terraform command i already i already run the destroy command right so go ahead and destroy your uh, infrastructure uh, because if you don't destroy it it is gonna you know charge you heavily all right so i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care